guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Geek Plan. I'm Jeff, and it is late on Tuesday, July 19th. It's 11.02 p.m. my time when I'm recording this. You're probably going to see this either later that this night or in the morning when you wake up. But the Halloween Kills, I'm sorry, Halloween Ends trailer just dropped. I was watching a stream on YouTube. People were talking about it, just, just talking about the movie in general. And they were like, wait a minute, Jamie Lee Curtis tweeted out something that in 15 minutes, you're going to get a treat. And sure enough, we get the trailer. Looks like it's only a minute and 15 minutes long. I'm sorry. Looks like it's only a minute and 15 seconds long. Sorry, I was in bed, just tweeting and about to fall asleep. Literally getting ready to take melatonin since I work earlier now instead of later. Uh, I was going to go to bed, but yeah, so the trailer just dropped. We're going to check it out. hope I sound okay. I do have a new microphone I'm testing out here, so so we're going to take a look at this trailer. Like I said, it's like a minute and 15 seconds. Again, I apologize for the shakiness. I'm trying to get my uh, camera mount where my phone is mounted because I use my phone's camera for my camera for my, my videos. I'm trying to get it to where I can mount it so where it's not shaking, and I'm working on that. So we'll see. Hopefully it'll get better. I'm going to go as slow as I can with my mouse so I don't like shake everything. But yeah, like I said, it is a minute and 17 seconds. I'm sorry, a minute and 17 seconds. It's coming from the official Blumhouse uh, webs or uh, YouTube account or YouTube. Yes, YouTube account. So really quickly, I want to tell you guys that I'm a little nervous about this. I've heard a few things about... I mean, what they've said in interviews after Halloween Kills came out, they were like, oh, it's going to be a time jump, and it's going to be after the pandemic. And I'm like, I don't want this movie to have the pandemic in it. You know, I go to a movie to escape, not to see our reality. I hope that it's not at the forefront. And I, I don't know. I'm very worried. Like I said, there are a lot of interviews out there, and you read it, and you get a little bit worried. I will talk about Halloween Kills again on the live stream come up that I'm doing here shortly. It's probably either this week or next week, but I bought the extended cut on 4K Steelbook. I was really excited about it. I couldn't even finish it. I'd already seen the movie maybe two or three times since I saw it in the theater. The more I see it, the more it got boring. Like I got, it get, It's really boring. There's a lot of miscast issues, a lot of pacing issues with it, and just a lot of issues. Michael was great. Uh, he's very brutal. It was... He was awesome. There wasn't enough Lori. Uh, there wasn't enough of the characters I liked and too much of the characters I didn't like. It just was a lot. I'm probably going to do a review for October coming up just to kind of get my thoughts out about it. Uh, I'd like to do a full review after kind of letting it sit for like a year. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on again, as I always usually do. So let's go ahead and check out this trailer. Like I said, it is a minute and 17 seconds long. Um, probably not going to be a lot in the trailer. We'll see. For being a minute, uh, 17 seconds, we're not going to get a lot, I'm sure. So, let's take a look at it. This is the Halloween Ends official trailer. They're probably going to drop another couple trailers before, you know, we get to uh, the release date, which is October 14th. That's when this is released. I do believe we had a lot more marketing for Halloween Kills last year at this time. So, it makes me, that also makes me nervous. So, but anyway, let's get into it. Let's take a look. So, we're going to start the trailer for Halloween Ends in 3, 2, 1... Is this Lori? Yeah. Finding Allison, maybe? No, that's Michael. That was not what I was expecting. They gave us a ton more than I was expecting. Holy shit. It was a very small trailer. There's really not a lot to pick apart. I mean, I'm sure we're going to. 
scene by scene, of course. I, if I get a chance, I will do a trailer breakdown. It, it might not be for another week or so. And hell, we might even have another trailer by then. You never know. Because it is already the middle of July, going on the end of July. So we're getting closer to August. The marketing is going to continue to ramp up on this. But I want to watch this one more time. I might not include it in the video, but I, I just want to watch it again. A few moments later. I also believe she has on the outfit from uh, part one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, makes you think. His mask didn't look as burnt. I've heard he might be getting another mask. I've heard a lot of that. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. I do like that they put the line in there, uh, come get me, motherfucker. Like, I love that. That was great. Uh, it looked good. It, it got it had a very great vibe to it. Like I said, it's only a minute and 17 seconds. It's not a lot we can take out of it. It's not a lot we can, like, break down and take apart. But I just like the whole aspect of him and her fighting and they're showing that confrontation. I wonder, I'm also wondering, is it going to be a just a small part of the film, like the very end, what's happening up until then? If there's a big time jump, I'm going to see Lori, like, mourning over her daughter you know we're gonna see her and Allison try to come together like what is it's gonna be very interesting to see how they deal if it is that big of a time jump are we gonna get any more flashbacks from 78 um, are we what are we it, it's there's so much to to go on I want to go back and watch 2018 and watch kills again before I do a trailer break, breakdown I, I I don't know before the next big trailer comes out at least to kind of get an idea of what's you know because it's been a while since I've seen Halloween Kills and Halloween 2018. Uh, 2018 was last Halloween. Uh, Halloween Kills, I think, was like uh, January, something like that, maybe November. But yeah, it's been a while since I've seen either film. I haven't had, I don't have a lot of theories in my head either. I haven't had a lot of theories. Like, what could, especially when you, they tell you there's a huge time jump after it Kills, because you're like, okay, if it's the next night, she's just hunting him down. That's it. But then with this being a big time jump, is she hunting him down? Does he leave? Does he just continue to go? across the land and wreak havoc because he's not really after her we discovered that we knew that he wasn't really after her she just discovered that so is it going to be him just wreaking havoc everywhere and then hearing about where he might be and trying to find him what is it it's going to be interesting is it all going to be in Haddonfield is it going to be him going all across the country or in different areas of where Haddonfield is based in in the movie universe like there's a lot a lot to think about a lot to talk about with this not a lot to go on with this final trailer. And I thought about going live, to be honest with you guys, after I saw the trailer. I see other people live streaming now as well. Like, we watched a movie. Those guys are streaming right now. I'm like, maybe I should go live and talk about this. But I think I'll wait and talk to you guys on the first live stream I do coming up. It's probably going to be within the next four to five days. I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying to figure out what the best time is going to be for me to do, uh, you know, a live stream for you guys. So... Um, when I figure it out, I'll post it on Twitter. I'll post it on my community tab. Just keep an eye out. It is coming soon. I really want to do a live stream, so I've been like itching to do one. So, but yeah, so that's that one minute seventeen second trailer from Halloween Ends on their official Blumhouse uh, YouTube account. Go check it out. Leave a link in the description if I remember to. But you just type it Halloween Ends trailers is right there. Not a lot to go on. Um, Laurie and Michael confrontation. I like what I saw. Um, I don't know. Like or like I said, her outfit was from the original and looked like. Is this a flashback? Is it not a flashback? Is this a dream sequence? Is this something else? What is this? It's very weird. I don't know. It's not off. It makes you think. That's that's all I'm going to say. It just kind of makes you think a little bit. Maybe it's not a dream sequence. I think that would be stupid to do. Like, oh, she's dreaming. that She's in the same outfit. Blah, blah. But anyway, we'll see. There's a lot to go on. Once they release more marketing, more interviews with the cast come out. When they do marketing, I'm sure there'll be a... A big thing coming out in one of the um, movie or magazines like they did last year with Halloween Kills. So we'll see what happens. We'll start kind of breaking stuff down when it, a little more comes out because there's not a lot out about this. There are some interviews out, like John Carpenter said, it's different. Um, Jason Blum said the same thing. I mean, with the time jump and what they were doing, it's definitely much different. Um, is Michael actually going to die in this? I mean, <clears throat> just because Michael dies in this doesn't mean they can't bring him back in another part of the timeline or you know break off the timeline, start a new timeline with michael myers and doesn't you know this this three-part uh saga is going to end jamie lee curtis is not going to come back for another one after this one i don't think so this is going to be the end of their saga of course they could do michael again down the road that he's never going to die they're going to continue to do it. it's going to be like a whole james bond batman kind of thing where they recast 
not Michael, but like recast the people around him and, and the era he's in. He's just going to continue to live on. Mustafa Akkad never wanted him to fully die, and I agree with that 100%. I don't want him to either. I want Halloween to continue to go on. I want to see other filmmakers get their hands on this. I never want to see Michael die. I mean, even if we get shitty Halloween movies, we're still getting Halloween movies. So, you know, a lot of people who are Friday the 13th fans are probably like, I really wish we could be getting this right now, too. And I do as well. So hopefully down the road that will happen as well. But anyway, guys, what did you think of the Halloween Ends official trailer? I don't know why they're calling it that. They should be calling it a teaser because it's very short. It's definitely a tease and it's not really an official trailer. So let me know down below. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear from you guys, as always, on this kind of stuff. You guys know I'm a huge Halloween franchise fan, especially the original John Carpenter's Halloween. That's like one of my favorite films of all time. Like, not just horror films, but films in general of all time. I can watch it all the time. I love it so much. So yes, I'm excited about talking about more with you guys on live streams, other videos, and of course in October when I do some stuff and I'll review it and I'll probably go back and review 2018 and also review Kills again because I don't think I did a really long Kills review last year. I think I did a really short one, so we'll do that as well. I'm looking forward to that. I might get those probably recorded before Halloween so I don't get behind, but yeah, let's. Uh, I'll be looking forward to those this October. I'll definitely put those out there. So I might even get them out before uh, this movie comes out so that way you guys can watch my reviews on those before you go see the new one so yeah anyway enough of me rambling on i'll see you guys in the live stream and also in the next video so thank you guys for watching i do very much appreciate it leave a like on the video it does help us out especially in this big youtube algorithm where everybody's doing halloween ends trailer reactions that way you can find mine and if you did find mine and you enjoy what i have to say and you want to see some more of what i have coming up in the next few months and and beyond hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications that way you get notified when i drop a video here on the channel I want to say thank you also to everybody who has continued to stay, stay subscribed. I have gained a few new subscribers in the last couple of weeks as well. So thank you all for being here. And I want to say thank you all, of course, to everybody who supports the channel, whether it be Patreon, channel membership, or whatever you guys do. I want to say thank you to all you great, amazing people. You guys are awesome. Links below for social media, all that kind of stuff. So check that out as well. Merchandise, all, we got, all that kind of stuff. And also, like I mentioned, ways you can support the channel down below too. Anything you guys could do to help out, we'd appreciate it very, very much. That'll do it for this video here on the Geek Blend, the Halloween Ends trailer reaction. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Jeff. This is the Geek Blend. And remember, if you geek about it, we speak about it. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a great rest of your week, and I look forward to Halloween.